kind of in the same parenting space as you are. I have a six-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter. So it, yes, it is, it, it's very fun to kind of explore and see those themes brought up on screen. And especially this idea of, you know, encouraging your children to go after their dreams, even when maybe it doesn't align with your hopes for them. Talk to me a little bit about that. Right. Well, I, it's so good to, uh, to meet you. And I love that we have this like, you know, parallel parenting experience. Um, But yeah, it's, that's, I love Kamaya. I love the role of Kamaya because you see this matriarch uh, guiding, you see her leading with grace. You see the strength and ferocity, absolutely. But you also see the patience and the kindness and you see just how she nurtures her children. And it was, it actually made me wanna take notes because she gave space for her children and she gives space for her husband as well. And it's, and she does it expertly, you know, she, she, she weaves in and out and finds where she can get in. And, 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 and it's, it's, it's like, she doesn't waste time, right? Because she cuts right to the chase for everyone. You know, it's, it, it's different for everyone. And you see her, um, you know, sort of molding and changing herself based on, you know, the, the, the person in the moment. And, and, and I love that because what she teaches and what we see is, is that it is about following, um, following your dreams. And, and so ultimately it's this family learning how to support each other in, in a lot of ways and learning how to be there for each other. And I think that's so important to see in general and even, even, um, it's, it's, it's even great to see with, with a Black family, too. Um, you play LeBron James' wife in the film. And, you know, it's kind of a heightened version of, of reality for him as he is, you know, this giant basketball player and a father of three. Did What, what conversations, if any, about parenting did you have with him? Oh, man. Well, the odd thing is that when I was working on the movie, I only had a son. I didn't have my daughter yet. Uh, when we shot. And so we, you know, we didn't have any conversations about that. I look back on it and I go, oh my goodness, you know, we haven't seen each other in a long time because of course there's been a global pandemic in the meantime too, you know, since we shot, but it's, it's so funny to, to like return to everyone and be like, I have a daughter now, <laughs> by, by the way, that I didn't have when we were working together. But, you know, we, we talked a lot. We talked a lot about, um, about navigating, um, you know, this world and about, you know, sort of uh, trying to, to, to well, striving, not trying, but striving for um, a, a level of excellence uh, in life and how that translates um, as a parent and how you bring that to your children. Um, and then making space for them and, 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 and making sure they, that they have the security that's needed to grow the, the way that they should. We talked about that as well. Um, and and it's, it's great because these are all things that, you know, are showcased in the movie. And then of course the, you know, we love the Looney Tune characters and it's such a fun reintroduction to them. And so many of the franchises that Warner Brother um, is a part of. I love all those little nuggets that you see. But, but I'm curious, you know, live action and the digital animation, was that something that you picked up very quickly and was fun or it was a little tougher than you thought it'd be? You know what? It, it was fun, but it did take an adjustment period because I, I have I have been fortunate enough to work in a digital space before uh, with with my show Star Trek Discovery, and I've been able to work uh, with with green screen, and I've had to employ my imagination in you know like show up imagination right now. Let's go! I need you to I need this world to be real in front of my face, right? That I can't actually see. Uh, but of course, I have not I have not interacted with Bugs Bunny and friends before. So that was different and it did take a little bit of an, of an adjustment, but it was kind of like a, a really, a really, um, you know, high end pair of shoes that you just, you know, you just put them on and you walk around a little bit and then you're comfortable. Now it's time to dance. 